Hi, welcome to our web design video blog. I'm James and this is Nick. Hello. Today we're going to look at WordPress. We're going to do a basic installation of WordPress and we're also going to look at some of the features that you want to make sure you have switched on or, or are using from the outset of your installation. WordPress is basically an open source blogging platform um, that you can download for free off the internet and you can install it on your own server or hosting. The requirements that you need for WordPress uh, are PHP, uh, an SQL database and um, preferably a mod rewrite on your host. And, uh, we use um, one on one of FastSafe and that allows the mod rewrite function so that you can install plugins for SEO purposes later on. Okay, so uh, let's open this. So I've already downloaded the WordPress folder and I've uploaded it. First thing I'm going to do is change the WP config file. I've put in all my database settings from my MySQL database. What I need to do now is remove the hyphen sample on the file name and upload that to the server. This essentially activates your installation. So I'm going to yes, upload that to the server. Then I'm going to go to the internet and go to uh, my website slash wordpress slash readme.html and then click on the install link there. This page also shows you the general installation guide. Give the blog a title, so for this one just create an example, enter my email address. It's very important to tick this box here that allows the website to be crawled in the search engines. If you don't tick the box, then the installation is set up so that your website doesn't get cached. So that's all installed in my MySQL database. I'm going to copy the password that it's given me for the admin user. I'm going to go and log in. Paste the password in. Obviously, it's very important to change the password once you're logged in. Um, I'm not going to change it for this demonstration purposes. I'm just going to get rid of this little message here. First thing I'm going to show you, which is probably one of the most important things, is to set up the permalinks on your blog. They're under settings and then permalinks. There's the default one at the top. I'm going to enter my own custom one. So I'm going to click day and name to give me a head start. And I'm just going to modify this so that the URL displays the category name and the post name. I'm just going to get rid of that day. And then what I also like to do is remove the last forward slash and put in .html so the page has a proper page extension. Save those changes. So to show you what the permalinks look like now that's been updated, I'm just going to click visit website at the top which will take me to my live installed blog. As you can see here, here's my installation with the basic template. Click on my blog post and you can see at the top category slash hello world .html. So the permalinks are now up and running. I'm just going to get myself back into the admin panel by clicking edit. Next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to set up the rename of the folder. So at the moment obviously it's called slash WordPress. Let's say we want to call it something like blog or slash news. I simply delete it in these two settings here. Both the WordPress URL and the blog URL. Set both to blog and then save the changes. This bit can get a little bit confusing because obviously the files aren't in the right location at the moment. Hence I'm going to get now a error 404 page from my one-on-one -on -one hosting platform. So nothing to worry about, all I've got to do is now rename my folder which stores the files to blog. So I'm going to go to the remote view and rename WordPress to blog. So that's on the remote view, so that's updated. So if I click refresh, the page should now load. I'm going to log in again with my admin username and password. Click login. Sometimes it still doesn't quite update. You see now it's gone back to the WordPress link. So if I just put in blog there, instead of WordPress and click it again. That's pretty much going to uh, sort that problem out. And now I'm back logged in. You can see at the top where I'm forward slash blog. Again, if I visit the site now, you can see the website installed on forward slash blog and also with the permalinks again working. So you can see at the top of there, blog and the post name with the permalinks. So that's the basic setup. Thank you for that, James. That's all right, Nick. OK, so that's just the start of your WordPress installation. There's lots of places you can go from here. You can uh, change your theme or install different plugins. If you go to wordpress.org forward slash extend forward slash plugins, there's loads of different plugins for different functionality there, so, so check that out. Okay, don't forget you can uh, download our podcast at iTunes. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also we've started a new Twitter, which is twitter.com slash create group. Also worth mentioning this month is we've uh, just been reading uh, .NET's August edition, and there's some great articles on there. Um, there's a tutorial on CSS sprites and also a great uh, tutorial about uh, optimizing Flash websites. Um, there's also a really good article which, which we read on there about doing pro bono work in web design which is also worth reading so definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching.